we always get celebrities out here. That's that's Grant from uh, GC Performance right there. And uh, he's got that nice titanium rig out here today. Oh my gosh, okay, it's gonna be on. I have shared this ride before, but I usually have footage of the first half of the ride and it's usually because at some point my camera dies. And honestly, the second half is usually a lot less interesting than the first half. This is a ride where the A group and B group go off together and for the first 20 miles we ride as one pack. And usually when the A group guys are in here with the B group guys, the ride is a lot more interesting. We get kind of like some three abreast, a little bit of Peloton style where people are jostling for positions. Nothing aggressive, but certainly a lot more interesting. When the ride splits and the A group goes off, frankly, the ride loses some of its texture. The B group stays behind, rolls at a double pace line, a true double pace line, at a constant speed of 24 to 26 miles an hour. You know, everybody is just kind of holding station. But today, the wind was so strong at the split point that no one either wouldn't or couldn't break away. So it made for one really interesting ride. <laughs> I'm not gonna give too much commentary because I think the audio capture, the interaction of the cyclists tells a way better story than what I could but I will insert chapters to where the second half of the ride begins. And I'll also insert a chapter to where I begin showing ride data. You'll be able to see the group speed, my heart rate, that kind of stuff. I will say a few anecdotal things along the way though. So <laughs> skip if you want to, but stay tuned. I think it's a very interesting video. Coming into the frame now is my friend Sean Spaulding. Aside from being a great guy, a lot of fun to be around, and a really capable cyclist, Sean rides a Bianchi Specialissima with Campagnolo Super Record 11. If, if <laughs> I were to purchase a carbon bike based on what's on the market today, it would be the exact model that Sean rides. Love seeing him out here with it. As you can probably already ascertain, we had less than our typically very sunny, beautiful envy of the rest of the world weather. It was damp and very windy. Like I said, the wind is the thing that made this ride very interesting. Incidentally, today I'm trialing a wheel set from Elite. They reached out to me and asked if I'd be willing to do an evaluation of their drive series carbon clincher for rim brakes. So I should have that review up on the channel real soon. If you want to make sure you catch it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.
comments I get regarding these ride videos, our roads and our topography are overwhelmingly positive. I do occasionally get a remark about it being easy looking or boring. Now, while we don't have hills, these rides aren't easy. We may not have climbs, but we also don't have descents where one can rest. I have seen many a cyclist come from hilly regions to do these rides. They thought it was going to be super easy, and let's just say they found the constant pedaling a bit of a challenge. But that's not me denigrating or saying that one type of ride is better than the other ride. I'm just saying that if you've never done this type of ride, it would be a, quite an interesting challenge for you to attempt to do one. You may be surprised, and you'll actually probably enjoy it a great deal. This is the point at which the ride splits or would have split. But today, as I said, it was very windy. We had a, we're headed west right now. We have very strong wind coming out of the west southwest. And a couple of the guys who normally go off in a breakaway, they kind of stuck their nose out there and they came right back. So we ended up with this dynamic where we just have one group. But also a lot of people got dropped, trailed off or waited for the C group because this group actually got a lot smaller than it was initially. At this point, there's a little bit of a split ahead of me that I see developing and I decided to move up, take an opportunity to kind of get on the clean side of the wind, if you will, to kind of move up and bridge up to what I thought was gonna be a little bit of a break. So that was me burning matches.
<laughs> Apparently I am today. <laughs> At this point, if you're wondering if I got dropped, well, if it looks like a duck and it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it's a duck. So I have to unequivocally say that at this point, I just could not go with that final surge. And uh, just so you know, this is just like the last, maybe we've got a three quarters of a mile or something like that before we go in. So I wasn't, I was okay with that. This uh, last bit certainly didn't define my ride. I will say something about my fitness at this point because over the years I've learned how to read my body and interpret what's going on with my fitness. Uh, this isn't an issue where I was tired or I didn't eat enough. This is just an issue where my fitness is off. I have not been putting in enough time on the bike to be able to ride strong and up to my capacity. You'll notice that my heart rate does not go past 165 beats per minute which means that I am not able to generate the power to elevate my heart rate to be able to go faster. So that's just the reality of where I am right now with my fitness. And I own that just like I own getting drop on the last stretch of this ride. But I had a blast.
The Shell gas station on the corner of Western Road and State Road 84 is a well-known gathering spot for cyclists on the weekend. You come by here any Saturday or Sunday, somewhere between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. and you're gonna find a whole bunch of cyclists post-ride or do what you're getting ready to see here, which is trash talk, post-ride, debrief, whatever you wanna call it. Those of you who saw Miles on the ride doing the color commentary, Miles actually has a show that he posts on his Instagram and I'll link it so that you can check it out if you enjoy trash talking post-ride uh, excuses and shenanigans miles is your guy but thanks for watching this video thanks for supporting the channel i hope you've enjoyed it please leave your comments in the section below as always our aim here is to inform instruct inspire be blessed